guys. How's everyone? So today I just received a, a new mod that I'm excited to do. It's the rear spoiler blackout kit from Cool Tent 604. I'm really excited about this because I've seen a lot of you guys doing the blackout rear spoilers and some of you guys are plasti dipping them and some are just taking them off and painting them. But this is an easy way to do it. It's a already pre-cut kit. I've laid it out here for you guys so you can get an idea. So it's two pieces. You get this piece here that covers this lip here all the way to this edge around. Then you get this piece here that goes from this edge to the bottom. So this makes it a lot easier for the do-it-yourselfer as far as not having just to you know, buy a bulk roll of vinyl and then cut it. That's always the hard thing when you're trying to cut it and not scratch the car. And you know, Then you can also pop this off. There's a few bolts and then clips underneath that you can take out, but then you have to put new 3M tape around it and make sure that it's seated right because you can get water leaks in here. And I mean, it's a lot. I mean, I could do that if I wanted, but this is a lot easier way to go. Like I said, it just, it sets on place. And then this seam right here where these two pieces meet, you use a heat gun and they just bond together. Kind of just like the tail lights do, where you can't even see where the pieces begin. So I'm excited about this. A lot of you guys have, um, in the comment section were telling me that that would be a good mod to do. So I thought, yeah, why not? Let's give it a shot. And I think it'll flow really nice with like the black um, emblems I have here. And I'm going to do the, the black exhaust tips here. I just haven't got around to doing it, but I'm going to do that. So stay tuned for that one. I think it'll really flow. And I have another mod coming that I think we'll just tie it all together. So I'll go ahead and we'll get started with this and we'll see how it looks. Thanks, guys. So here I'm just wiping down the lip spoiler with some water and a little bit of Dawn soap. As you guys know, that'll strip the wax. So It'll help it adhere really well. And then that way it'll give you a good surface so the vinyl can bond to it free of any wax and anything like that. So it'll set up really nice. Okay, so now with this big piece, it has a clear cover on it, an overlay on the top. So you're just gonna take the backing off and that clear um, protective layer will help when you have to reposition it here. Now you could do a little piece at a time, which might be easier, but I like just dealing with it like one big piece like that. So whatever you guys feel comfortable doing. But basically what you wanna do, you wanna align the back edge to the flat edge of the spoiler. So try to get it so it's just right on to the edge of the flat part. You don't want to get it draped over the side toward the back there. So here I'm just setting it in place. And again, as you guys know with Avery Vinyl, you can reposition it. So I'm just getting it kind of set and then I'm going to go back and I'm going to line this edge up best I can and then just work my way all the way to the other side back and forth. And I sped this up just so it's not quite as boring. And basically I'm just trying to get all the air out of the vinyl and get it to lay flat against the spoiler here. I'm not worried too much about making it perfect. Just get as many um, bubbles out as you can because remember it has that clear layer over the top of it so it's not gonna look perfect anyway. You're just trying to get the bulk of it so then when you do remove the, the protective layer, you're not working too much on the actual vinyl which will scratch it up. As you can see, it's taking shape already just from this. As you can see, it's kind of rough right here, but I just have it set. So right here, you can see all the air pockets. I didn't really try to tuck it on the front of the spoiler yet. I'm just trying to get the, the idea of where I want it to be set. All this will come out, so don't worry about that. 
but basically that's kind of what you have so far. So I'm going to continue to do the same thing, just work as many bubbles as, you, as I can. But don't be too worried here. I'm not going to use heat at this moment. I just want to get the bulk of it. And it'll just make it that much easier. And then press the back edge down when you have it where you want, so that'll be set. And then that's where you're going to use that skinnier piece up at the top here to cover the... I guess you'd say the width of the spoiler that you see from the back. But that piece will be fairly easy because it's a flat surface. So again, same thing. I'm just going over all the little edges and get it the best I can. And then I'm going to start taking the backing off. So here, as you can see, I'm just removing that protective layer which is exposing the gloss black vinyl. And even just removing this clear protective layer, it already looks so much better. And then I've noticed when you take it off, it's so easy to get the air bubbles out because that protective layer is pretty thick. So it's not allowing you to really um, push the vinyl down that smoothly, but without it, it's actually really easy. And if you guys ever looked at your rear spoiler, there is a gap around the whole thing. So if you take a, even a credit card or something thin, you can easily tuck it underneath the, the spoiler without removing it. There is a little bit of play in there. So it's not such a tight fit where you're gonna have to worry about it, cutting it and all that kind of stuff. I mean, you can if you want, but I'm trying to show you how to make it as easy as possible. If you guys are not familiar with vinyl wrapping or anything. This makes it really easy, this kit, because it's all pre-cut. So this is the overall idea. As you can see, it's hanging over the edge in the front, which is good, because then you can use this to tuck it. But I'm just getting it set up here, and all this looks really nice. Just like that already changes the look of it. So it's good stuff and I love working with Avery Vinyl because any air bubbles, it's easy to remove them. You don't have to work too much with heat guns and all that. I mean, I do use a heat gun, but it makes it a little easier. So here I just laid that back piece on. I should have showed you guys in the video, but it's easy. You just wrap it around the, the last piece that's not wrapped so far. And you just use the trunk as a guide and line the vinyl up to the trunk and then just lay it on the spoiler. And this is really easy because it's a skinny piece. It's not too bad. And since it's black, you can't tell where the edge is. It just kind of molds right together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and work that to get that nice and smooth. So guys, here's the finished product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. For being a pre-cut kit, it's really nice. Really sets it off. I kind of went quick through this. I mean, there's a few spots that have a little, little um, I wouldn't say air bubble, but a little crease on it. I could have worked it out a little bit better with my heat gun. Not a huge deal. Um, I really like it. I feel like it really sets it off. I should have wiped it down. It has a lot of fingerprints on it, but really nice. Um, definitely ch check out Cool Tent 604. He's also thinking about doing this in a carbon fiber too. So message him up on eBay and see if you can do the carbon fiber if that's what you like. But great stuff, great product to work with. It makes it very easy. I feel like it really sets the the car apart. I noticed the I think it's a TLX A spec package has like the black um, lip spoiler. I think it really just sets it off. And I've seen a lot of your guys' cars you guys done in either gloss or matte, and it looks really good. But I'm happy with it. And I mean, it took me maybe a half hour to do. Now, if you guys aren't real comfortable doing that, you can e take the spoiler off, 
so you can get all the way underneath and tuck and like kind of wrap it that way. But I wanted to show you guys an easy way to do it just on the car with the pre cut um, kit here. Very easy and it really changes the look of it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll do my best to answer them for you guys. Um, and always like and subscribe and I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys later.